All right, David. First off, how many hats like this do you have? And what, did you just start giving them away? We got four Big Tens. We got four Nationals. I'm not real sure what happened to them all. A lot of times they get lost or uh, sometimes my girlfriend steals them, wears them to the gym, and sometimes she forgets to take them back. But uh, it's pretty, they're pretty cool hats. Four Pete. Uh, I think you're the centerpiece of the four feet. You and Ed, you know, I look at what you guys have done at Penn State. It's, it's unbelievable. Your record against Big Ten opponents. You know, two national titles for you, four finals appearances. Ed with three titles, four-time All-American. What's it all mean to you? I mean, when, you know, you're, you're doing press conferences, it's got to get exhausting. But after, you know, looking back, what's it mean to you? Well, right now, it's hard to say what it means to me. I just... You know, the biggest thing is it's just how I, mean, I guess it's been a combination of luck and um, you know really being a, you know, looking back and really appreciating how special it was that Ed and I were able on the same team at the same time with the same mindsets and the same goals and to go out and compete the way that we were able to compete the whole time and it's difficult it's difficult when the targets on your back all the time and those guys are constantly game planning to wrestle you and slow you down and we've both gone through some of those times during the year, and it gets difficult and frustrating. But you know, when it's all said and done, we got the, group, the best coaches that are able to you know keep our keep us focused and keep us focused on what's important and keep us focused on the small things. And um, you know, really, when it's all said and done, getting your hand raised on Saturday night in the state championship, there's no better feeling than that. Um, I've had some pretty hard breaks up there, and you know, I think you know the two times that I've won have been pretty special as well. So it's uh, it's pretty. Looking back on my career, you know, it could have gone a little bit better, but it went pretty well. Being such a modest person, Kale's a huge, modest guy. You know, you guys are always deflectors of, of you know, taking credit for things. It's you guys out there doing it. Where does that come from, and, and do you think you take some of that from Kale? I, I was just, you know, I was the way I was raised with my family. Um, you know, I, it wasn't, you know, it was just, and I, I think it's the, my personality is I've always wanted to achieve a lot of things and I've always had a lot of high goals. And I remember something my dad told me when I was little is, you know, if you're not working hard, someone else is type of thing. And, you know, I'd be around, you know, looking up and trying to, you know, looking at Kale's role model and the way he conducted himself. You know, if you want to try and mimic a guy, you know, I try to do that. I tried to when I was little. And, um, you know, he's a pretty spectacular person. What he's accomplished, and you walk, look him walking down the street, you wouldn't even know. You know, you wouldn't really know who he was. And um, he's one of the most accomplished wrestlers in the history of wrestling. So it's just, I think it's just being in a you know, great environment with great people and it's a combination of maybe a lot of things, I'm not sure. Awards podium. You turn around to greet the fans. Mom, Dad, Big Dave, your mom, and your sister all looking right at you front row. What was that like? Well, it was my girlfriend, not my sister. No, it was your girl. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. But, uh, you know, it's pretty special. You know, those, those, you know, all three... My sister wasn't able to make it. Where's, your, where's been, your sister? She's at Ohio State. She's uh, she's you know in some school, and but she's been very supportive of me. And my parents drug her around all the time when we were kids. And I remember one time she was she was sick with the flu, and she had a puke bucket next to the mat watching me wrestle. You know, it's talk about a wrestling family. But you know, my family has been there. You know, the ups and the downs, winning national championships, and being second. They're always there every single time. And been through a lot of things with my you know, mom and dad, especially with my dad. You know, I've been traveling since I was little. Every tournament you could possibly think of, I wrestled in, and I was with my dad every single time. And you know, there's a lot of crazy parents out there. And my dad's a little crazy, but you know, he was very supportive and always wanted the best for me. And you look up and you take a guy, you know, I don't know, he he's been there. My parents been there for the whole time, and uh, it's. I'm very lucky. Your dad, do you think you can ever be as good of a dad as your dad has been to you? Uh, he's been a pretty spectacular dad, but I guess if there's someone that, you know, if I want to be a father someday, he'd be, I'd want to be just like my dad. Your dad, you know, I, I've seen him at everything like you said, yeah. you know, and, and what he's done, it's unbelievable. You guys moved across the country, literally. You go to the best high school program in the country, you win national titles there. Will your presence, everywhere you've gone, you've, you've won. The team has won, David, not only you. You remaining at state, in State College to train with the Nittany Lion Wrestling Club, what do you think that will do for Penn State wrestling as well? Well, we've, we've created something pretty special where we are. Um, 
and I, there's no doubt we can keep it going. We got some great underclassmen. We got some really good kids coming in next year, and it's it's an attitude. You know, it, people, you know, not to kind of go off topic, but you know, you're gonna make a decision. You're gonna be a guy who's gonna score points. You're gonna be a guy who's not gonna score points. And we got guys in our lineup from top to bottom that want to go out and score points, and that's gonna translate to success of this tournament and throughout the year. And as long as we keep, you know, getting those guys in our program and we're going to continue to have success. And we got the coaches that are embracing that philosophy. And, you know, we've won four championships. But at this point, I can say I've won four championships and it's, it's said and done. But next year, it's all, it's all new. You know, there's going to be guys that have never won a team championship and they're going to want to be a part of that. And, uh, you know, I hope I can help those guys as much as I can. And, you know, it's just... Uh, it's just part of it's part of it. If you want to be, if you want to be the best guy, you want to be part of the best teams. You got to train like that. And you got to surround yourself with those type of people. And uh, right now, it's what we have at Penn State. All right, man. You've been at this for about an hour. I can't ask any more questions. Thanks for the time. Not unless you got anything else for me, Dave. Full wrestling, you're doing a great job. You know, I appreciate all the support. My entire career, uh, it's been a great. I remember the first time uh, I talked to Martin, and he had a camera in my face, and I, I was trying to figure out what this guy was doing, but. You know what what's happened you know since you guys started has been spectacular and I just appreciate everything and um, got a lot of great people a lot of energy and that's what the sport needs thank you